Have you been waiting for the perfect moment to start your photography career? By the way, there is no perfect moment to start your photography career. You definitely need to start your photography career today. We're gonna learn about why today is the only day that matters. And by following these nine very positive habits, you're gonna learn how to actually succeed. And quitting is not an option if you're trying to succeed at this photography world. If you haven't had succeed success, if you haven't had success yet at photography, maybe you're falling victim to one of the things on this list. Let's get into it. Number one, are you comparing yourself to people? Stop comparing. Comparison leads to rushed goals. Comparison leads to dissatisfaction with life in general and the feeling of inadequacy. When you're comparing yourself to somebody else, what you're doing is you're killing all the joy in your life because that's what comparison will do. It will kill the joy in your life. Don't compare yourself to other photographers. Imagine everybody starts photography when they start. It's not when you start, they started when they start. Don't compare yourself to other photographers. Use other photographers as an inspiration, not a point of comparison. Very, very important. And also be grateful for your talent. Not all of us have the ability to shoot great photographs. Not everybody has the ability to take great photographs and tell stories. So be grateful for your talent and let gratitude be your attitude. All right, number two, comfort. Your comfort zone is where your dreams go to die. You don't need to jump off a cliff, but you do need to put yourself outside of your comfort zone and push yourself just a little bit closer to the edge. Learning is optimized when you get this right 85% of the time. You grow with your photography career each time you put yourself outside of your comfort zone. Get uncomfortable. That's how you grow as a photographer. Quitting. The only way to guarantee failure is to quit. Simply staying in the game long enough will put you ahead of most people. I've been making photographs since I was 14, and I have to tell you, I never stop. Number four, distraction. Are you distracting yourself from real life? Are you distracting yourself from your camera? Not including sleep. Is there a time when you're not listening, watching, or consuming some sort of content? Would you better be serving the world by creating content? Practice focus by scheduling two 15 minute blocks each day to do exactly nothing. During this time, breathe and visualize your perfect photo life. No inputs, no distractions, but afterwards, Go to your notebook and write down all of those ideas that flowed through your head while you were taking that time of silence. Your phone. Phone addiction's real, eh? Turn your phone off or to DND and no touchy of your phone an hour before bed. Keep your phone off or no touchy an hour after you wake up in the morning or put your phone on DND one, after, after, one hour after you wake. Your life will literally transform before your eyes. And by the way, each time you have that inclination to reach for your phone, reach for your camera, handle your camera, touch your camera, see if you can operate your camera with your eyes closed. See if you can change your focus point, change the ISO. Learn your camera. Each time you have a desire to reach for your phone, pick up your camera instead. Better still, go make a photo. Number six, waiting for the perfect conditions to start. There's a massive group of photographers right now that are way less talented than you that are living the life that you want simply because they took action. 
taking action when you have 70% of the information that you wish you had. By the way, you'll never have 100. You'll never have 100. So take action. There's no perfect conditions. Make sure if you are going to start your photography career, if you have 70% of the information that you have that you need to know, start. There's never going to be a perfect time to start your photography career ever. You'll always be able to reason yourself out of why you should start. There's no perfect conditions. Today is the only day that we get. So if you're debating on whether you should start, just do it. Multitasking. Whether it's writing, reading, photography, watching a movie, half focusing leads to half assing. You know you can't make photos when you're half assing it. So commit to full focus, whatever you're doing. With photography, you know it demands all of our focus, which is why most of you aren't shooting as much as you could be. You're attempting to multitask poorly, which is stopping you from the focus needed to actually make meaningful photographs. Multitasking, really, you can't watch TV and read a book. You're not really reading the book and you're not really watching TV. You're just wasting time. And often it's all just a part of distracting ourselves from the actual tasks that we should be doing. Procrastination. By the way, yesterday, I was 42 years old. Today, I'm 50, 52. Like 10 years disappeared in an instant. Nobody tells you that you're missing a starting gun. Don't lose your life to procrastination. Try this. It's the five minute rule. Anything that you're delaying starting, anything that you're procrastinating on, work on it for just five minutes. Work on it for five minutes and see if that task that you were delaying was actually as hard as you thought it was. When it comes to photography, showing up is the hardest part. Getting clothes on, getting your gear ready, making sure your camera's charged, your memory card's formatted, and having an idea, actually leaving the house, going out to make these photographs, that's the hardest part. Get over that hump and start. And lastly, complaining. Oh my God, complaining may seem harmless, but over time, complaining trains your brain to seek out the negative side of everything. Negativity stops progress. It kills creativity. Negativity kills creativity. Next time you're complaining about something, if you're not on the next breath of that complaint, coming up with a solution, Pick up your camera and go make photos. It's my punishment for you. Or you can wear a rubber band on your wrist. And each time you complain, you gotta snap it. Each time you complain that you're not getting enough work, you gotta go snap it and go make better photographs. Complaints are met usually with silence. Yes or yes. So who are they for? <laughs> really? We have to remember that not only is the glass half full, you have talent. The glass is not half empty and you have no jobs. It's all about perspective and the quicker you shift your perspective when it comes to this photography world, this photography career, the quicker you believe, hey, I can do this. And oh my God, the quicker you stop doing the nine things that I just mentioned, the faster you're gonna be a pro. Long form content is the new meta. And in this day and age where people's attention span is so absolutely narrow, it helps you to train your attention span by watching longer form content. Seeing if you can watch that long form content without also looking at your phone, without also being on your laptop, without also doing something else. You're training yourself on how to focus. Watching these episodes is actually not only helping you be a better photographer, but it's helping you with your attention span. You need an attention span to make a living as a photographer in order to be a pro. Watching nine minutes of my episode and clicking away and going on TikTok, cool, but 
the people who stay till the end like you are the people who reap the most benefits they're the people who are watching photo reviews or seeing how i break down other people's photography and gaining the confidence to submit their own photography only when you submit your photos are you going to accelerate your learning and get great faster you want to get great the fastest you have to join my mentorship program i can take one or two people if you're one of those two one of those two people who are super keen make sure you have a look at my website go to the learn or mentorship program section and get yourself signed up stevecardi.com is the website if you'd like to see all of the incredible work that i've done over this 30 year career you can see a good majority of it on my website there is an archive of youtube content for you to watch here and don't forget you get better every single time you look through that little window don't shoot viewfinder i love you thanks for watching we'll see you on the next one